What's going on everybody? Back with another Wealth Hack Wednesday. So whenever I was a kid growing up, I didn't have the name brand shoes. I didn't have the Nikes. I didn't have the Adidas. Up until the sixth grade, I got all of my shoes from Payless or from hand-me-downs from other boys that didn't need the shoes anymore or outgrown them. So when I finally got my first pair of Nikes, and these were Air Jordans back in 1986, I remember how excited I was. I can remember going to school and showing them off to everybody and, and the girls and the boys taking notice. And I, I mean, I felt like I was I was it. You know, like I was legit because I had these Air Jordans. But that excitement lasted like a week or two. And after playing outside with them, you know, playing kickball, you know, playing in the wood chips, I mean, they just started to look janky. You know, they were dirty, they were starting to fall apart a little bit, and I wasn't as proud of them as I was, you know, the first day that I wore them. What I like about that story is that we can apply that to ourselves today, to our adult selves today, where we are looking at things that people have, whether it be the shoes that they wear, the house that they live in, the cars that they drive, the places that they eat, where they vacation. We start looking at these things that people have, we start wanting them. We start Start craving them we start obsessing about them and even worse we start to compare and measure our success based on these possessions these things that these people have that we don't it doesn't matter where you are in your wealth building process whether you're at the beginning or in the middle or somewhere between the middle and the end it gets very dangerous when you start comparing yourself to others and the things that they have, and then you, what happens is that you start making decisions and choices that aren't really true to you, that really aren't relevant to the goals that you're trying to accomplish and the things that you want out of your life. A good friend of mine who's a speaker and a New York Times bestseller, John Acuff, had this to say, don't compare your beginning to someone else's middle. And what I love about that quote, especially in this situation, is that you don't know where that person is in their life. So if you are just starting in your wealth building process, if you're at the beginning of your wealth building process, you can't compare yourself to somebody that's been doing it three years, five years, 10 years. Not only the fact that you don't know behind the scenes what's going on. If all their possessions have been purchased on credit and they don't have a net worth or even worse, they have a negative net worth, then you're comparing yourself to somebody else that you shouldn't even comparing yourself to. That is not an apples to apples comparison. And when you begin your wealth building process, you have to identify what is your true wealth goals? What are the things that you are trying to achieve for yourself and for your family? Because chances are that's going to be different than somebody else's. So if you're trying to build your wealth, you have to be careful of the comparison syndrome. Don't measure your success based on the potential success of others because you don't know the true story. Let your own success, your own results define who you are. All right, hope you enjoyed this Wealth Hack Wednesday. This is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, your life, only you can make it awesome. Peace.